Avon defeats Arsenal Tech 73-49. Huge matchup in the championship tomorrow. It will be Avon against Pike. The highlights continue with our Larry Holly. Well, Scott Hetty's year of rebuilding at Carmel had its first breakthrough moment on Tuesday. That's when his 8-12 Greyhounds knocked out 14-6 Noblesville in the Sectional 9 opener on the Miller's home court. Tonight, they hope to make the final of Sectional 9 by getting past Westfield, who had the first round by in the Greyhounds' regular defense tonight. Alec Peterson rejects the would-be score. Carmel allowed just 15 points in the entire second half. Now, Peterson wasn't done either. Off the miss, corrals the rebound, then goes up and finishes that one off. He had 8. Carmel goes up by 20. Some younger Greyhounds getting into the act a little later on. Watches James Crowley goes from outside to in for the layup to bring the lead up to 25. Now there'll be no Noblesville letdown as you can see from the Greyhounds who follow their upset of the Millers with a 53 to 28 win. So just what has helped Carmel come alive in sectional nine? I think defensively we, we've been really really good. Um, you know, um, and, and tonight um, second half we moved the ball a little bit better. Um, and obviously the other night uh, on Tuesday night. Um, our ball movement, I think, was a lot better, and uh, we've had good balance scoring, and uh, we rebounded the ball very well. As obvious in that game. Now, the Greyhounds would be the problem for the winner of the second game between rivals Hamilton Southeastern and Fishers. Royals' Gary Harris coming up with the hustle play early. Jacoby Bledsoe with the miss, but Harris right...